Hello guys, how are you? Good day and yeah For those who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please uh, click the bell button below guys and uh, hit subscribe uh, to, sh to show your support on this channel So by the way guys, I am Sam uh, aka hashtag Viajerong Becky so today guys i'm going to talk about the uh, very controversial um plan of uh, miss universe organization for the homecoming of uh the recent winner of miss universe 2022 arboni gabriel to the philippines because this topic has already been you know uh discussed in the social media so um i'm just going guys to I'll tell you my point straightforward and I hope you do respect my ideas okay so first a uh, question in my mind is why the Philippines because uh, our Bonnie Gabriel, Gabriel is staying in the US so um, to you know to, to, to give respect to your home country diba? so I, I guess the best thing to do is um, to celebrate your victory in your uh, very own country or in the US so that's actually guys simple logic right so why is it the first target is the Philippines correct so and also it has been said that Filipinos are very much excited for um, Arbonne's homecoming to the Philippines. Now, in that regard, where is the statistics? Where is the data to prove that we are really, majority of the Filipinos are very much excited? Where in fact, up until now, we're still feeling, you know, feeling sad about the result of our candidate, Celeste Cortese, because guys, you are not blind. Okay, we have eyes to see, we have ears to hear, and we saw how flawless the performance of our candidate, Celeste Cortese. Okay, so that's my first point. Now, uh, second, my second point is, um, is this really like a mind conditioning tactics? In order to regain the trust of um, the Filipino fans, well, what is your thought? What is your, what is your opinion, guys? Diba? So, you know, guys, if only the verdict of the judges during the uh, Miss Universe uh, competition was fair and square, then uh, we would accept the result. Okay, of um, our candidate uh, journey at Miss Universe competition. Okay, so that's a fact as well. And my third point here, guys, is is it like, you know, you're just only adding insult to injury. Okay, the Miss Universe, guys, organization should somehow have delicadeza. So meaning, please leave us somehow a sense of integrity, okay? So you are just actually adding insult to injury. So it's not really a good idea, guys, that you're sending the Miss Universe winner to the Philippines. Where in fact, you know, we're still, um, we're still actually, we cannot, we cannot still move on. About what happened, knowing that our candid candidate is it, it, one of the top notch candidates at Mission Universe, no? So, guys, if you really want to redeem your integrity of the organization, I think the best thing to do is to really prove that, you know, next time you have to make sure that the selection committee, the uh, judges i guess it um it must not be biased and in that regard i suggest that you know ju judges must be mixed to avoid unscrupulous result because 
if the system guys will still be the same and the Miss Universe organization will remain blind, well, worse comes to worse. Okay, so that is actually guys my stand on this particular topic. So guys, uh, I think that's all for now and I do hope that you respect my point of view regarding this topic, okay? Because this is actually guys the, one of the advantages of the social media because um, for example, as an ordinary citizen, okay, we have the voice to really express our opinion okay and yeah thank you so much guys and if you did like this video please uh, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below so um, and help me enlighten about this one thank you so much and yeah have a great day to all of you bye bye